Hi everyone, it is Miss Diana and today we will be doing a science experiment and we will be creating um, a sort of lava lamp situation. So it should be fun and keep watching. Okay, everyone so for this science project what you will need is um, some vegetable oil or um, I have your canola oil but you can use any type of a light oil um, like this for this um, experiment you're also going to need water I'm going to need more than this but I just wanted to show you that you do need water uh, food coloring uh, preferably if you can get the gel food coloring that will be um, better and then um, I'm going to do the experiment in this water bottle and um, in this glass jar just for visual purposes but if you have a water bottle at home like this you can um, put uh, you know the oil and the water in this water bottle okay so we're gonna be creating like a lava lamp. And the first part of the experiment is we're going to be putting the oil in the water bottle. And then we're gonna put the water in the water bottle. And then you can explain to your child that the oil and the water, that they do not mix, okay? So I will do that. And then we will put the water inside. Okay. So that was enough water. So um, really I wouldn't let the, um, the kids uh, shake it up because and then you won't get the full effect of the experiment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put more water in this bottle here. Done. And then you can use uh, food coloring. So I have here a blue. And then you will see what will happen. So, the food coloring will not um, stick to the oil, okay? It's going to go into the water, into the water molecules. So as you can see there, the blue food coloring that I put, it went all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, the water went to the bottom. Even though I had the oil in the bottle first, I poured the oil in first, um, the water just sank to the bottom once I put the water in there. And oh, I forgot about this one. I gotta put some food coloring. Let's pick another color here. So as you can see with this one, the red is on the bottom with the water and the oil is on the top. Okay, now kind of like the magic part of this, which is awesome, is you're going to need some Alka-Seltzer tablets, okay? And you can have your child, of course, help you with this. If you get um, like um, a measuring cup with a little something that has a little spout, um, that can kind of help your child to easily pour without creating a mess. So, um, you know, I have here a lined cookie sheet. 
with paper towels just so that I don't have a mess. So the tablets come like this. You just need to put one and, with, and just break it up in pieces. And you can give the pieces to your child and they can just put it in. Start with this one first. And it's starting to fizzle up. I'm gonna put in some more because I have more tablets. So let's do two tablets per container. I'm just turning it around so you can see what is happening here. You see that the water over here, you have little bubbles of water. Are kind of going up into the oil, so the um, water is, is going up. Almost looks like a lava lamp. So before I do the bottle, I just want to explain what is happening, the scientific reasoning behind it. Okay, so like I was explaining to you, right, the water and the oil, they do not mix. We all know that um, science, that water and oil doesn't mix, okay? And the oil, it doesn't change color when we put the food coloring um, because because the uh, food coloring is water soluble, which means it absorbs into the water. And the Alka-Seltzer reacts with the water to make bubbles like we saw, like we saw here, happening here. Um, or it creates the carbon dioxide, okay? And the bubbles uh, they attach themselves to the um, to the the like the parts the molecules of the colored water and they bring them to the top of the glass or they bring them to the top of the bottle which we'll see here um, when when the when the the color when the aqua seltzer hits the the water and then you have like little blobs or like the, when you see little dots of water they're going to float to the top and then they're going to fall back down to the bottom okay so that's what's happening the chemical reaction here is with the whole alka seltzer um how it it infuses into the oil it goes up to the top and then it sinks back down so we'll do this with the bottle because we saw it happening with the glass So as you can see here, that's the Alka-Seltzer doing its thing. It's going up to the top, all the bubbles, which they're the colored blobs, are going to the top. As you can see there, I think it's pretty cool. It looks like a little lava lamp type of a, of a thing. And also this can be good for like sensory. If you wanted to put the top on it, you can use this as sensory for your child. Let's put some more because I have more Alka-Seltzer to finish off the tablets. And I'm going to put the top on.
Uh, so here I just basically wanted to mix everything um, just to see what kind of a reaction but as you can see the oil is split and the residue of the Alka-Seltzer kind of floated to the top but if you wanted to add more Alka-Seltzer tablets in there you can and it'll create more of a reaction and this I mixed it up so it's gonna take a while for the particles to separate and you can see like the, the water sink to the bottom and the oil float to the top. But um, like I said, you can add more Alka-Seltzer and it'll bubble up some more. All right, everyone. So um, we did the, pro the science experiment together. I hope that you can try this at home with your children and your family. And I hope the whole family enjoys it and try it at home. All right. Bye, everyone.